Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, coming at you with another How to Build video. This is a series where I take you through all of my created For Honor characters and some campaign characters and teach you what you need to do to build them yourself so that you can use them on the battlefield. What I do is I go through basically their armor and weapon sets, their executions, their color schemes, their patterns, everything basically on how I build them and why I build them the way I do. And today we're going to take a look at one that I've had many requests to talk about and for whatever reason, have not gotten around to doing, so we're going to do it today. We are talking about Kiku the Hitakiri. Now, if you guys have not heard Kiku's story, it is actually one of the sadder stories that I've written in my Legends series. Go check it out in my For Honor Legends. The link will be at the end of the video. But other than that, uh, what do I do to build Kiku? How do I build her? How do I construct her? Well, we're going to jump right into that right now, so let's not waste any more time and get right into the good stuff. So for starters, in terms of armor, it's pretty simple. You want the Kogetsune Helm, which is the one that looks like a Kitsune Fox Helm, or mask rather. You're going to want the Kogetsune Chest and the Kogetsune Arm. So you just need the Kogetsune for all of it. Kogetsune Helm, Chest, and Arms. Pretty simple. Now, the Helm is important. I actually bring this up in the legend itself. Kiku has a fox mask because she used to be a performer. She used to be a singer and performer, and she would wear this fox mask whenever she performed, and it was actually a part of her legend. So you do need that. Even if you want to change up the chest and arms, you still need the fox mask. So that is integral to her legend. Okay, for the weapon, you want the Hebi no Ikari head. Hebi no Ikari Shaft, and Hebi no Ikari Pommel. You'll want this because of the serpent setup. Now, it's not necessarily related to her legend directly, but whenever I think about Hebi no Ikari, whenever I think about the serpent attitude, I think of one who is vengeful, venomous, and angry, and that definitely fits with Kiku. She is very vengeful, she's very dangerous, and she is very, very angry at a certain group of people. But again, I don't want to give away too much about her legend. You do need to hear it yourself. But I feel like this one actually does fit, and also the color scheme for it fits as well as we get into the color options. Now, let's go into the rest. You now know how to build her armor and weapon. What about the rest? Pretty simple. For traits, I you obviously want default one. You want this to be a female. You don't want a male. You want a female for this. For skin color, just go with the default. Pretty simple. If you had to go for another one, go with number one, but default works best. For your ornament, nothing. You do not need any ornaments for Kika. For material, you want the gold material. The gold material is going to contrast really well with the uh, blue that we're going to be seeing in the actual color palette. So definitely you want that gold look. You could also go with silver because it matches the mask very well and the weapon. But I go with gold because it matches the snake outline and coil pattern that we see on the shaft of the axe. So I think gold works best for this. Now, for chest... You want the, apoc the Apotropaic Spell 2, which you get from uh, the Monsters of the Otherworld in Wink 3. But if you don't have that, that's okay. What you really want for this are flames. So if you can get maybe something like Gaule's Breath or Rays of Peace or any of those, that could, or maybe even Visions of Kaidan, any of those that look like flames running up the pattern, that's what you really want. You want those flames. So Apotropaic Spell 2 is the one you want if you have it. No symbol, but for your um, embossing, you want the Tidal Waves embossing, which you get at Reputation 29, level 20. You can see it down there on the little um, strip of cloth that is hanging just beneath her waist. So definitely check that out. That, that will look very, very good. For left arm, you want the Gaule's Breath 2, which you get from the Zan Hu's Gambit Bundle or from Scavenging the Battlefield. Uh, you can put that on her arm. And then for the symbol, Spinning Edges, which you get at Reputation 1, level 6. Okay? For right arm, you want the concaves paint pattern, which you get at Reputation 10. And you want the wave wall uh, symbol, which you also get at Reputation 10. Both of those go very well in hand with one another, so those work very well. For the back, you want, again, the Apotropaic Spell 2. And again, if you don't have that, any flame paint pattern will do. And you want the fan and fronds symbol, which you get at, at which you get from an outfit at Reputation Two. So it should be pretty easy to get as long as you keep playing Heat to Carry. And then for the legs, you want the Apotropic Spell One, but again, if you don't have the Apotropic Spell, just go with something that has flames on it. And then for the symbol, you want the Stat Sticks symbol, which you get at Reputation Sixteen, Level Twelve. All that together will get you Kiku's ultimate design. Now, for the color scheme. 
You want Patrol. Would you get it? Reputation 13, level 14. Patrol, I think, has a really good blue, blue and gold here. I think the blue, silver, and dark navy goes really, really well. It matches with the uh, weapon she has. It matches with the gold material that we're going to use. Overall, it's just a really, really good design. I actually had this design put together before I even wrote Kiku's Legend, so I think it looks really, really good. Now, for the feats. I start with Deliverance, which you gain a shield and uninterruptible stance while executing an enemy. Not only is this the best first uh, feat you can get for Hitsukiri, but it does fit for Kiku because of her relentlessness, her tenacity. She's not going to be stopped by anything. For the second feat, I go for Righteous Deflection. Parry, uh, you parry to gain high damage reduction for a short time. In other words, this is going to hype your defense out as you deflect attacks. I think that this works very well for her. I also think that it, again, goes into that tenacity. She's holding off the enemy and is not going to stop for anything. Next, you want the Spiritual Shroud. Gain damage resistance after executing the enemy hero. Effect remains until you are killed. The key with Kiku, again, is resilience. Always pushing on, never stopping, never giving up. Just keep pushing until you get the win. And then finally, Zimlon Zakura, which is her insta-kill attack. I don't get a lot of use out of it, but if you want to use something else, I would go with Fear Itself. Both Fear Itself and Zimlon Zakura are both very good for Kiku. In fact, honestly, Zimlon Zakura, uh, sorry, not Zimlon Zakura, Fear Itself might be a better choice to be lore accurate. But either one will work. Now, for executions, you want Fatal Diversion, Butterfly Beheading, Shingetsua and Ishiwari Sakura. All of these executions are unique to the Hitakiri, and I think that all of them fit very well with what Kiku is. Kiku isn't a supernatural woman. She gives off a supernatural aura. People are afraid of her when she shows up, but she is very much a lethal axe user. She is very deadly with her uh, Masakari axe. And I think that we see all of that kind of um, embodied here. Now, in Kiku's Legend, we don't see her in any direct fights. We don't have a lot of fights to describe for her. Uh, we actually see how she became a Hitakiri rather than uh, what she does as a Hitakiri. But I do feel like all of these moves would very much fit with who she is as a Hitakiri. For emotes, I use Ikazanban and Senket Surinri. This one to show uh, respect, and this one just to show disapproval. Now, I'm actually thinking of replacing that one with a different one. One second. I was thinking about replacing it with sobbing uncontrollably. because Not but not, a, not as a funny, but because Kiku's story is that sad. It really is that sad, so I thought that that would fit very well. But I haven't decided if I'll do that yet. And then for combat, I use Bold and Strong and Goki Kade. Just to show respect and to show uh, strength. One of the problems that I had when deciding what to do with uh, Hitakiri's um, moves here. Actually, Classic Salute might be a good one. But regardless of that point, um, Kiku's story isn't one about a psychopath. It is the story of a woman who lost something precious and is now getting vengeance for it. Very much kind of a Batman kind of thing only with a giant axe instead of a bat suit. Um, and so I wanted to emphasize the tragedy in her character rather than the destruction of her character. Uh, I wanted to really draw emphasis to the fact that this girl has suffered. She's had it really hard. And so I wanted to put emphasis on that. There's just not a lot you can do with that because the Hitakiri's whole motif in the game is very much psychopathy. This woman who is absolutely devastatingly insane and will kill anything because she wants to kill everything. And I didn't want that. For signatures, I use assertive attitude. Very strong, very resilient Basically saying, I'm not going to stop until I get what I want. And she has a vendetta, so there is something she wants. And then finally, for effects. For idle, I use Death Mist. And for executions, I use Death Mist as well. The reason why being, even though she's not a supernatural creature herself, she's not like a yokai or anything, she does give off this presence of deadliness. And so I do feel like as she walks places... Maybe a mist follows her. Maybe there's like a deadly mist that follows her. Not because she causes it, but maybe it's just that aura that she gives off. But for free roams and stuff like that, no, nah, she doesn't have any. So, n n nothing there. And that sums up Kiku pretty well, I think. So, what do you guys think? Do y'all like how Kiku came out? Have y'all listened to her legend yet? If you haven't, definitely go check it out. I think you will enjoy it. Will you be making Kiku yourself on the battlefield? If not, let me know why not. And if so, let me know why so. I would love to hear your thoughts. Had a great time with this one. And as always, guys, I will see you 
in my next video. Take care.